There are a lot of different video conferencing tools out there. Now, we've concentrated a lot here at Dotto Tech on Zoom, and for good reason. Zoom is an exceptional product, but there are other products. So this is the first in a series of videos that we're going to do of alternate online meeting products. And we're going to show you today one of my favorites. Now, I had to search around to find it because it had disappeared. I used to love a product called appear.in. It was a simple browser-based meeting tool. So what I mean by browser-based is it lived in the web browser. Zoom and WebEx and other tools, you launch an executable application on your computer in order to attend a meeting. Well, with appear.in, it just happened within your web browser. Technically speaking, it meant that the quality of the meeting wasn't quite as good, but they were oh so simple to use and they were just a joy. Simple way to quickly connect, have a meeting with one, two, three, or four people, or even more if you go with the paid plan. Easy to use, reliable, but it disappeared. Appear appeared not to be anywhere. That's because they changed their name. They changed their name to, I think, Whereby. It might be Whereby, but that's what we're going to look at today. Whereby on Dotto Tech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? And when I think of online meeting tools, obviously Zoom is the first one that comes to mind, but so many other great tools are there. But most of them are executable tools where you have an application that you download onto your computer and that application creates the connection for your online meeting. There are a few, however, that are completely web-based. They just live in your browser. And my favorite for this was always appear.in. They changed their name about a year ago, I think now. I haven't looked for a while uh, until I wanted to do this video, actually. Uh, but they're... What are, you, what are you doing? Oh, just a minute. What are you up to? That was uncalled for. Where was I? They changed their name about a year ago. And then when I went looking for them, I had to do some research to find Werby. So what I loved about this tool, and the tool is essentially the exact same as it was when it was up here, is just in their free service, they allowed up to four people to have a meeting. They had the simple basic functionality that you needed to run a meeting, but there was very little resistance. You just basically created the meeting, you were off to the races. And the way that they create a meeting in Werby is you create a room. It's as simple as that. You create your name, the name of your room, and you, it, be, it gets assigned a URL. In my case, whereby.com slash dottotech. You share that URL with others and they can then come into your room and you can have them join your meeting. Now, there are very few controls. There are very few things. You can turn on and off your webcam, your microphone. Uh, if we look in the controls here, it's determining exactly where our audio is coming from, what microphone we're using, what webcam we're using, and that's it. Very, very simple, basic controls. And then when you start a meeting, you are in one window, one quadrant, and there's your sharing link. You can copy that link. You can share it with others. They can come to your room. And down at the bottom of the screen here, we've got a series of controls that allow us to record the meeting if we choose to, to do very basic, simple screen sharing, which is just the, the absolute basic screen sharing. There's no real additional bells and whistles. As I say, what Werby is, is it's very simple, very basic, very reliable, and just very easy to do video conferencing. Now, when I looked at it, I thought oh, the free version, it works up to, I think, up to four people. Yeah, up to four people in the room, and you can have one room with the free account. So I checked out what the upgraded accounts are if you decided to purchase more to find out what additional features and functionality you'd get. And primarily, you get the ability to have more meeting rooms so you could name them for different things So you, and having up to either 12 participants or 50 participants, depending on which one you choose to set up. And there are some additional features uh, for recording the meetings, uh, for branding, uh, for having integration with YouTube, for obviously directly recording to YouTube, that sort of stuff. So there's a variety of different integrations here. So I actually reached out to my friends on Facebook and said, who's using Werby? And can you tell me if you like using it and how it is to work with? And fortunately for me, Samantha, my good friend, the tweeting goddess, 
is a Werby user. So let's look. So I asked, well, can you have a meeting with me and tell me about how you like using it? And that's, I think, how we'll do the rest of today's demo. Let's, let's show you Werby through the tweeting goddess's eyes. I say whereby. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> and you're using this for your you're using this for your coaching sessions. Yeah, um, I also use it for my team. I use it for my team. I have a team of five, so we can all get on the same call together and share screen and and you know chat. And it's just really nice we can all see each other at the same time. Um, and I also do it for my workshop. So if I'm doing an online workshop, I can have all the attendees. It's like a classroom. Um, I really like it, you know, um, and I can teach away, share my screen. If there's any questions, there's a comment section and everything. And I just find it, it's very reliable. Um, it hasn't let me down, touch wood. And it's so simple yeah. to use. Now, yeah. it, one thing I liked about it is when you create your, uh, when you created your Appear account, now when you cre re create your Werby account, you just give your own name. So you've given your uh, your online moniker, your tweeting goddess. You, so, you, I, we, so it was just werby.com slash the name. Now, how do you prevent other people from entering at that point there? Is it, is it that knocking function where you have to yeah. know who's coming in? Yeah. Do you ever have people that aren't supposed to be in knocking? Uh, no, I haven't actually. You will. You will after this video. <laughs> I've been on a Zoom all right where that's happened and it's like, oh, oh, hello. Right. Okay. I better go. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So the simplicity is the overriding value of this. You can test it out for free and you're allowed up to, I think, four people in a call. Yeah. Um, and the quality, it's a, it's a browser-based tool. So the, the video quality is going to, it's not going to be quite as much as you're going to get from a Zoom or a Skype, which are dedicated apps, but it's still pretty functional. I, there's a little bit of delay, I think, sometimes when we talk back and forth. It's, yeah. There's that, that, that awkward, that, that awkward uh, kind of delay, but it's not unusable by any stretch of the imagination. I agree. And look, I'm not a techie. Um, I'm great on social media, but I'm not a tech person. So for me, it was good at the time and it just suited me and I just got used to it then. So, you know, the way you like to stick with the one, you know, <laughs> you know, that kind of. Yeah, way. exactly. So could, could you share your screen with me? Could you yeah, I'll just do an example. I'll share into Twitter, for example, right? Just to show you okay. the, the quality of it. Like, so, so if I go into Twitter and I'm showing someone how to use Twitter. So this works terrifically well for me. Now, what about when you have multiple people in the room? You're limited to 12 people in these rooms? Yeah. Do are, do we have a gallery view where you see everybody? How does it handle yeah. it from that perspective? Yeah, I can see, um, I think I have a picture. I could send you a picture of one I did um, before. Okay. Um, but it actually has a picture. I had seven students in the room. Um, mm -hmm. And then you see the chat down here at the bottom? There's a chat. Um, yep. You can actually... Uh, go into yeah, the chat and I can say, hi, Steve, you know. And and there you could also see the individual people and you can manage yeah. the people from there. You could turn on and off my camera if I yeah. was being disruptive or if you wanted yeah. to just for, for that sort of thing. Or, or like people don't mute their mics uh, and you get too much crosstalk, you can mute their mics here. And so I can you, find so out you have who the one is giving there. the feedback or whatever. You know, the way when sometimes it's one person, I'd say, no, it's you, it's you. <laughs> it was funny. People were saying, Zoom, Zoom. I was like, hang on, why is it? There's other platforms. Like, you know, you yeah. don't have to just use Zoom. Like, and I love this one. I love Crowdcast for webinars. And I just find this one is really good for just, here, I'll meet you in a minute. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah come to my room and like my team member can jump in and say, well, this is the problem I'm having. And then I'm able to sort the problem and then, okay, bye, bye, bye. And you know, it's, it's great. It's just really handy for quick meetings. You know, there's some products that you use that just feel right. They're like a comfortable sweater that you slip on and you go, yeah, this fits. This is good. I like this. That is what Werby is. And I have to thank Samantha Kelly so much for sharing with us. I could listen to her talk all day. Couldn't you listen to her talk all day long? Now you should check her out. If you don't know who she is, if you're not following her in social, Samantha is the tweeting goddess. You can find her at uh, the tweeting goddess, the tweeting goddess, the tweeting goddess.com. There will be links below, but she helps clients and entrepreneurs master the art of Twitter as well as other social platforms. Uh, but Samantha is one of the good ones and I appreciate her her help and support on this particular video. Now, I would love to hear your comments. Are, is, are you comfortable using a tool like Werby or do you need the industrial level product that is a Zoom? Love to hear your comments on that. And I promise you, I read each and every comment, even if I don't have time 
to reply to every one of them. Now, I should also remind you at this point that we have an entire series of videos, actually a playlist of videos on mastering Zoom, on how Zoom works, on how do you configure it. Uh, so check that out if you're interested in learning more about Zoom. And if you found this video useful, can you do me a favor? How about a nice thumbs up and perhaps sharing it with your family and friends and coworkers who could benefit from learning more about a tool like Werby? And if you've not yet subscribed to this channel, what the heck are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I will see you next time right here on Dotto Tech. Till then, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.